So uh, I'll just introduce myself. So my name is Colin Jennings. I'm a reader in political economy. I co-direct this degree with Miri O'Mahony, uh, uh, who's a professor in the, uh, the business school. And this distinction is going to matter, and it will make it clear as we uh, go through the talk, that the department is run from two departments, the political economy department, of which I'm a member, and the business school, of which uh, Miri uh, is a member. I'll say a few words though about the political economy uh, department first. I'm more familiar with that since I'm a member of it. It's been around now for about seven, eight years and it's unique in the UK and in the sense that it's the only department in the UK where you have political scientists, political theorists and economists all together in the same department. It means that the, the economics uh, um, uh, group within our, uh, within our department, in the political economy department, uh, are very informed about what's going on in the world of politics as well. So it brings together that kind of unique insight. Uh, but in addition, half the degree uh, is also delivered with the business school, uh, which was formed in 2017, and there's a very large group of economists within the business school. And then they bring their perspectives from within the business school. So we don't have a standalone economics department, but we see that as an advantage, not a disadvantage, in that it brings together one, a very large number of economists, and two, that they're coming from these different, uh, uh, di different disciplinary backgrounds, and that gives a very distinct perspective upon economics uh, in the modern world. You'd be coming into a world where the teaching and research is, is, is world class. Uh, we were rated number one in the Research Excellence Framework in 2014 for politics and international studies. And management studies is, frequent, is, all, is nearly always in the top ten. It's always in the top ten. For now, for those of you who are thinking about coming to London, one of the major advantages that you get at somewhere like King's is the access to the quality of uh, speakers who are coming in and the kind of institutions that you can uh, interact with in a way which is harder if you're outside of London. So that would include, for instance, the Treasury. We often have speakers coming in from the Treasury. We regularly have current and ex-MPs. What it does mean then is not only do we give you excellent teaching and an excellent research environment within, our, within our, the staff that we actually have within political economy and the business school, but in addition to that, we have access to all of these outside institutions and individuals who are coming in through the college on a regular basis. Employability, I will say this, the, the degree has only just completed, of which Jazz is a pioneer, it's just completed its first year. So we haven't, we, we're only going out into the second year. So that's going to be another two years down the line. But King's is extremely well networked in terms of careers. And an economics degree from King's, well, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm sure Jazz is hoping as well, but I'm very confident that that's going to end up leading to uh, a, a very, very strong employment opportunities. So as I say, we're jointly run by the political economy and the business school. And we'll give an example of why we think that sort of matters. So give you something more concrete. If you consider something like the uh, financial crisis from back in 2007 and the euro crisis that's happened afterwards, to a large extent, you could see that as a management failure. Uh, th there was bad decisions that were maybe made around managing the banks. And then that led to the financial crisis whenever that crash came. And that means that if you're getting insights from the business school, that could be very useful. You might learn more about the, the nuts and bolts of what was going on, say, in banking, which, might, which, which would help out with that. Then when it came to the euro crisis and the, you know, the problems with Greece and so on, uh, a lot of that's political. So then you might be getting insights from the political economy department and what the political issues were in that. So you're then getting these uh, perspectives coming together on what, which, which, is, which, 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 which a lot of people would say is a pure economics issue. The fact that we had a financial crisis and a major recession, which we're still you know, trying to pick ourselves up from. You might see that as purely economics, but in fact, we would argue it's economics, yes, but it's also management and it's also politics. And that's bringing those areas together so you'll get a very rounded view of economics rather than a very narrow uh, view of economics. So we think that's important that we're informed by both management and politics at King's, and you'll get that in a way that you wouldn't get to the same extent in a straight economics department elsewhere. So to give you an example, my colleague, Professor Sean Hart Grease Heap, sort of sums this up. The financial crisis of 2008 turned importantly on a failure of management inside banks. The euro crisis was a consequence more than anything else of political failure. Both illustrate why it is not enough to know only the economic principles. You need to understand the political and business context in which these economic principles go to work. So what do you actually do if you come here? So if you arrive here next year, this will be your first year. You'll do a Principles of Economics module, which lasts the whole year. Whenever we say 30 credits, that's what we mean. It's, both, it's across both semesters. You would do the world economy and its history, and it's 30 credits. Now, for those of you who love the maths, 
and don't like the essays. I, well, don't be discouraged by this. We think it's very important that economics in the modern world learns something of its history as well. You need to know where, to understand where we are, you need to know where we came from. And we put an emphasis on history, uh, which some other economics departments maybe do not, but we see again, this is a major advantage. We think that economists are, are gonna be better economists if they know their past, rather than just uh, looking at the, the current sets of arrangements. We then also have a studying economics module, and this is also a little bit on methodology, and also introduces you a bit of history of economic thought. So you might learn a bit about Adam Smith and David Ricardo and key figures like this in the history of economics. And again, helps to understand where the profession came from, uh, as opposed to just the history of economics, uh, economic behavior. Uh, but of course, we also have to do the nuts and bolts. So you'll have uh, two different modules on the mathematics for economics, which is crucial in, in, in modern economics, and statistics for economics. I'll just make an aside, by the way, about a major advantage that we have. Because we started our degree just last year, the first entrance were uh, 2017, we had an opportunity to completely redesign the economics curriculum as we thought best. And there's been a lot of dissatisfaction expressed across the last 20, 30 years about economics and about how it's been done. And we had the opportunity to, to listen to all of that and then go back and do it the way we think it should be done. And that's why our first year might look different to other first year curricula that you see at other university. Because in a sense, once something gets established, it's very hard to change. Universities are slow to respond. We had this unique opportunity to set, thing, set everything up from scratch. So that's why we're putting an emphasis in areas like, for, for example, history, or an example of studying economics, that you learn something about what, why are you doing what you're doing? Why do we build models? Why do we do these things? You ask these questions in a way that's often not asked uh, uh, in, in other degrees. I'm going to mention this because it's uh, uh, the principles of economics. If you look at the website, it's completely free. So if you just go to that website, you've got, you, just you just register at that. It's www.core.econ.org. And once you've got that, then you can just go in and this is what we do in first year. And this is a really good example of where uh, the economists who've developed this were also dissatisfied with how economics had been going. So they went back and thought, well, let's go, and, let's go back and think about what a first year economics module should really look like. And to a large extent, first year economics didn't have very traditional first year economics, had very little to say about things like inequality or about the environment. Things that really matter to, you know, hopefully 18 year olds or older, should matter to everybody nowadays. So a lot more emphasis was put on that. So this web-based web uh, platform was developed and it's also, in that sense, it's also very modern in that way of trying to deliver it. It breaks away from the old textbook approach. So we're very pleased also to be, UCL started this up, so we're very pleased also to have adopted it. And, and this, this is going viral. Many universities are now adopting this as the approach to first year economics. Now years two and three, we're not that radical in the sense that we, that we don't do all the nuts and bolts that you need. So obviously a lot of students will be saying that's all well and good, but I still need to be thoroughly trained in micro, macro and econometrics so that I can enter the job market in three years and you will indeed be extremely thoroughly trained in micro, macro and econometrics as you would in any other economics degree uh, by the time that you leave. But, so that, 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 that would be happening through second and third year. But what we have then is a very large range of economics options. Because we have the business school and we have the political economy department, we have a large range of options. Now, very important. And this is extremely important. Um, for those of you who, if you really think about it, really think about it, are more interested in accountancy, finance, marketing, management options, I would uh, have to say that this isn't the degree for you. You should be going to the economics and management and the business and management talks today and thinking about applying for those degrees. We, uh, at the moment, don't really offer, uh, we, we'll, we'll have economics of finance and we'll have subjects like money and banking and we'll have those key things. But what we can't offer you are modules in accountancy, marketing, management and things like that. Now, so it's, so it's for your own good that I tell you this, if this is really what you want to do, don't do this degree. But do stay at King's though, because we have two other degrees which do exactly these things. Entry requirement, A star and two A's, has to include maths of course. Right, okay, thank you very much.